in the Philippine mountains. At the waterfall, everyone's on edge. The horizontal drill has passed the projected treasure chamber target depth. Something is wrong. We can't just keep adding rods and adding until we poke out the other side of the mountain. At this point, you're not going to just back out and start over again. We're going 970 feet, so why would you stop here? One theory is that the drill is on target, but the chamber has a dome, and the angled ceiling is causing the penetration point to be farther than expected. One more isn't going to hurt. I hope you're right. Yeah, I hope so, too. The team adds one more rod to the drill rig. If they don't hit the void space soon, it could mean a devastating end to their long road on the mountain. I'm really starting to second guess whether our survey equipment was right, whether Andrew was on spot, whether Max and Colin gave me the right measurements. I mean, there's a lot of stuff running through my mind. We put another rod on, and I'm just watching the drill go. At this point, I'm about ready to call it quits. We're burning time, we're burning money, and we're about 40 feet further than we should have been. Actually hitting it will be a miracle at this point. Something's happened. We've lost circulation. We've hit something, but I'm not sure what it is. The absence of water means they've finally reached a void space. The team is eager to see what's hidden inside. This could be it. Let's get the camera. Let's get it in there. It's ASAP. Andrew steered that drill right on track, and we've punched through now. And I want to see what's in there. We gotta shove this camera down there almost a thousand feet. And today, I'm wondering whether I made the right choice or not. I mean, I'm really in anticipation of what I might see in there. We got a long way to shove. 250. 510. To go after a Yamashita of treasure and actually be successful, nobody said it was going to be easy, and it never is. You know, it's seriously one of the last great mysteries of the world to be solved. Seeing the treasure, you know, they're going to be part of history. 775. 900. 70 feet to go. There's the end coming. That's a big void space. Pitch black. This room is really big. How much you got in there now? 13, 14 feet. I still see nothing. Hold on, hold on. There's something right there. Turn your light up a little bit. What is that? It's the edge of something. Could be the edge of a box. We're like looking down on the edge of it. What I'm seeing in the camera right now is unmistakably man-made objects. The camera's picking up a smooth, flat surface with squared edges. You know, that's just not uh, natural. What's next to it? Hold on, let me see. It it's looks like another one laying up against it on the top side. Yeah. Yeah, but it definitely looks like boxes. Yeah, two boxes. You got to get up here. You got to see this. What you got? The rest of the team races over to see for themselves. Come on in there, George. Is that what I think it is? I can't believe you guys hit it, man. Rick, oh, Steve, Steve, get in there. You guys got to see this. Oh, my gosh. Seeing that? Dude, that's incredible. I think we've hit the treasure vault. I think we're there. You know, I've been waiting longer than anybody to see something like this. You did it, man. You got in there. We got in there. Unbelievable. Maybe what we're looking at is just empty boxes. I don't know. 
But I do know, based on all the information that we had and drilling to this location, that we are underneath that waterfall, 300 feet down, into this void space. We made it there, and now we got to figure out how do we get in there. The wooden boxes they're seeing resemble the ammunition crates filled with war loot American GIs recovered following World War II. This huge discovery lines up with the evidence they've gathered along the way. An NMR scan that detected underground metal deposits. A seismic scan that located a void space 300 feet below the waterfall. And a map indicating possible treasure on their mountain. That's an indicator that there could be treasure. All seems to confirm they found the boxes their local eyewitness grandpa claimed to have seen carried up the mountain over 75 years ago. They used my car about to pull the boxes up the mountain. It's the breakthrough John's dreamed of. This day has certainly been one of the biggest moments of my life. All the hard work that we put into it, everybody on the team has put their 150% into this job. And now the fruition is right here. But their celebration is short-lived. You guys hear that? That sounds like a big helicopter, don't it? There it is. Coming up through the trees right now. Man, yeah, they're close. Here, Somebody knows we're here. They must. There's two of them. I don't know if it's my imagination, but they seem to be pausing at every one of our sites. Yeah, it looks like it. That ain't good. I don't know what we found in the void space, but we definitely have a lot of unwanted attention. The team feels new urgency to find a way into the mountain to retrieve the mysterious boxes. Yeah, we need to get this done fast and efficiently. You guys have any ideas? Tunnel or shaft? I say tunnel. You guys agree? Absolutely, Absolutely man. Let's go for it. Do it, do it. Back at base camp, the team discusses their options. At this point, the best thing we can do is tunnel right into the waterfall. It's going to take some heavy explosive to do that if we want to get in there quickly. Using the borehole as a guide, Straighten it up a little bit. the plan is to dig a tunnel 930 feet to the void space, a Herculean effort that will require more machinery, more manpower, and more time. This is going to be a lot bigger job and we have to get all new equipment in here. The preparation for recovery right now, Levi, Gio, and myself, we're working on the way into the mountain and everything it's going to take to do that. The rock's a lot different. We're going to have to get bigger compressors. We're going to be running two jack legs at a time. We're going to need more ventilation. The list just goes on and on. We need steel. We need pipe. We need explosives. The logistics is on Rob. He's ordering everything. How soon do you think I could get that? We've been looking for months trying to find a traditional way in, but now we're going to be able to go for it. Since it will take time to assemble the equipment needed to tunnel into the void, John decides to explore alternative sites. I think it's important that we work on multiple locations so that we have the best chance for success from any one of the locations. There are a lot of treasures still left here. Based on the original treasure map uncovered by Bingo, he believes the best new option is Shargao Island. So look, this is a pretty remote island far away from any major cities. I think if the Japanese were using this strategically, this is probably one of the most perfect places to hide anything because it is so remote. After traveling to Shargao, the team follows the map. I think this is a network of tunnels. To what seemed the most promising site and make a thrilling discovery. It looks like a bird marker. You got those circles on this map look just like that little circle right there. If they can find anything, this new location could mean a fresh chance to find Yamashita's treasure. We have the best team, the best technology. After two years of looking for this treasure. What is that? Hang on, let me get closer. I'm more certain than ever that we have the best chance of getting to it. What is that? 
That's a symbol for gold. That means that gold is going to be anywhere in there. One way or the other, I will recover that treasure. Camel or high water. Yeah, man, let's do it. Man, let's